Rock and Roll! Hello everybody, this is Evander Advent. Welcome back to Wireland Shake It. So we last left off yesterday, we had just finished the first level in the third world, Rock and Range. And we're on to Stone Tooth Cave. A level I definitely remember for just like the tedium of its fossil mission. Yeah, let's go! Talked about is the amazing Nintendo Direct we had today. Like, oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. It opened with uh, the new Fire Emblem, and all I can say is the two piece toothpaste leaks were real. Toothpaste Chan does exist. Like, wow. I do like how, like, on the features of the for it, it seems like every character is, like, the party. Paired with someone else as, like, their Fire Emblem partner. That's cool. Okay, so many other announcements. We got just, like, uh, the reveal of just, uh, like, a look at the Xenoblade 2 DLC. Okay, good, we got that. Yeah, let's just play like, out of fire, I found. Three. And I can break this fireball. to put out the fuse and stop the timer. And then you can throw it and it'll still go off. So that's a trick you can use. Our 
Let's look at the Xenoblade uh, three wave two. Mechanical being, because like they show off the scene of her drinking from an ether cylinder, <laughs> and the class is attack one. That's good, and it's but it's Neponic Defender. So like yeah, she's Poppy 2.0. How much effort you need to put into goddamn Tiger Tiger to get Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you gotta remember, yeah, is this. Yeah. Where you have, you have that. about 4,000 coins. Coins from somewhere.
of all the things in uh, like they not listening stuff, like there are already a lot of things that actually got me really excited. This is definitely a very strong Nintendo Direct for me. The thing that got me the most excited was actually the return of the Rhythm Final Fantasy. I was obsessed with those games when they came out on the 3DS. Uh, to see it return in all its glory for uh, Switch is so good. Yeah. So much bigger and so much more expensive. There's a lot of things that made me like cheer like around, but like theater is the most one I would hopefully. Yeah! Woo! That got me so happy, so excited. Biggest edition with like the most content. In that case, I'll just go for the time one right here now.
Don't jump. I can't help but feel that like, there might be just like that extra last bit of money hidden at the end of a long sprint. Outside of, um, yeah, like the rhythm. The, thing, the second thing that got me most excited was the announcement of Octopath Traveler 2. We had like the Western release of Champions of the Continent, and now we're getting just like a second, a full sequel. Off just as a completely different area of the world, but rather than just like an inland sea that you like kind of loop around, you have a full ocean dividing two continents. And we got just like looks like a very strong setting of at least one continent is going through a strong industrial revolution. We see trains, we see lots of stuff that's got like that early. Uh, 20th century, late 19th century feel to it. Like there's, yeah. We showed off are just like eight new protagonists. I love how different so many of them feel uh, in comparison to their others. Like, it's our scholar who's on a quest for vengeance. Well, our dancer is just like. The one who's just like, you know, wide-eyed out is just like, I want to go out and make my, a name for myself in the world. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> 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 we showed how just like, every character has like, two half actions, likely a light and dark, like day and night one. And they showed off how we're just like, our, uh, Warrior has the ability to yeah, challenge people during the day, like Ulbrich, but at night he can bribe. Like, ooh. But outside of this, the, the new characters, there are two things that were really exciting for me and definitely a lot of other people. The first one, they showed off scenes of like, the battle. You saw just like the giant enemy sprites. Oh. We're much more animated. You sound like a large warrior swing his sword down. Or we saw a giant boar just like thrust upwards. It's just like, oh yes, they're moving! But, like the thing that got everyone like the most cheered and excited was the developer saying. Hey, you know the thing you hated about the first Octobat Traveler? We paid attention! Cause like... If you just like... Look at the first Octobat Traveler... And listen to these people... Uh, talk about. Um, like, the one, like, the biggest criticism you'll see of the original Octopath Traveler is how much people did not like how all the characters' stories were separate. Like, they never really interacted except for very easily missable skits during their stories. And, like, their stories, like, never really intersected until, like, the very end where they all had hints about, like, the greater puzzle of, like, the final boss. Here they, like, made a point to show off and say, Hey, you know that part of, yeah, like, we paid attention, we fixed it. They have, like, the other characters interacting with each other. We see them, like, talking to each other, calling each other by name. It's actually going to be important. That's great.
happen to notice is there are quite a few just like announcements in the show in uh, the showcase about just farm yeah. life sim. <laughs> There's a lot of those. And like a new trailer for Harlem yeah. Bella, and like hey, there's like a uh, like a say did a carryover demo going live. Yeah. Like, life, they got like fairy one. Yeah. Also got uh, more story of seasons. You know, like the true harvest moon, where they're remaking uh, and like almost like rebranding their original games. And we're going. To, we got to. A lot of people consider this like one of people's favorite uh, in the franchise, uh, A Wonderful Life. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm at the same amount of wealth for Yeah. Yeah. Anything I'm away here. Ha! 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 Ha!
Yeah. Now I'm definitely feeling really stupid. There's a money bag I missed. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I uh, feel stupid for not checking the spot. Enemy to be three enemies at once with a ball. <laughs> Wario. Yeah, let's go. Well, that's obviously where we'll shoot up at the end. Yeah. Like, it, the game doesn't spell it out for you until the very end, but you can do this. I'm so glad there's no damage here. Yes, 
this is a race. Like, that's definitely a uh, one trick that I did there, which was to do it like yeah. as far over here as I could. Because it only set off the bombs on the screen. If I did it here, you'd see how there'd be like many more bombs that would have been set off, and then I would have shortened my timer. goes over here.
because I haven't really needed to see that much, but you see these sleepy uh, gray guys? They will always give you a big piece of garlic if you shake them. Regular uh, just bend arrows, nothing or a small one. Like the gray guys that sleep and stand there, they're very much specifically to give you big bunches of health. And literally by the way. Figure it out yet? Could possibly maybe it get like full time here. <sighs> get everything.
go, 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 go. Ah. Woo! 100 full run. <sighs> I was a little worried that, like, by going uh, back and forth, for the money would just have been taken just enough seconds. Clear Town. Ah, here we go. It's definitely one of the best levels in the game. Fish before the clock hits this time. No damage. Lots of coins. Golden enemy. Two bombs simultaneously. Bad. 
me being foolish.
made it! Woo! Ready, wouldn't have enough time. It's just time and damage. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 